working undercover for Israel's internal security service, Shin Bet, between the years 1997 and 2007, Musab Hassan Youssef, the son of Hamas founder Sheikh Hassan Youssef, supplied information that prevented dozens of suicide attacks and assassinations of Israelis, and assisted Israel in capturing many Hamas militants. Yusuf made a spying activity public with his 2010 autobiography, Son of Hamas. I am not here to take sides. I love Israel because Israel is a democratic country. I love Israel because I love democracy. I love Israel because I love a country that respects and protects personal and religious freedoms and protects people from the absolute control of religion. That's the reason why I stand by Israel. It's not stand by Israel against Palestinians. Stand with democracy against dictatorships. In Israel this week, for the first time since he left in 2007, Yusuf briefed members of the press at Media Central, sharing his support for Israel, his views on Islam, and announcing a new project, a film depicting, for the first time, the Prophet of Islam. The real motivation behind suicide bombers and extremism, I know this is very sensitive, and what I'm ab about to say is not accepted by many, many people, especially in the free world. We have an Islamic problem in the region. We have an Islamic problem. Islam protected itself for more than 1400 years with walls of isolation. And it kept its absolute control over people's lives for many years. I think this is the time to expose the real nature of Islam. We look in a free world, we see movies being made about the lives of many influential leaders, except one, untouchable. Nobody can talk about him. Nobody can put him on a camera or put, draw a picture of him. That is the prophet of Islam, Muhammad. And I think this is the time, and I would like to announce this here from Jerusalem, next to the Temple Mount, that this is the time to expose the lies of Muhammad by putting him on the movie, on a camera, to the entire world to see the real nature of Islam.